Hey everybody, Caregiver Dave here, coming to you live from Wilmington, Delaware. It's very cold, but uh, I think I brought enough warm clothes. And this morning I'm going to do my real TED talk. Yesterday was the practice, I was very happy with it. And so, I'm just contemplating on the journey that I've been on for the last 18 months and how it all started and how it progressed and how many times I felt uncomfortable. Hey, Wolfgang! Call me, Wolfgang. I've got something I want to tell you. I want to introduce you to somebody that you will be very happy to meet. Um, so, comfort zone. Let's talk about comfort zone. <laughs> because if we, Mona, I hope you can check me out, Mona, today, eight o'clock, if you're in the Eastern time. Anyway, comfort zone. Gosh, nobody wants to feel uncomfortable, do they? And this last 18 month journey was an uncomfortable journey for me. Oh, you're sweet. You look awesome too. <clears throat> And a lot of people don't want to be uncomfortable, but you have to be, because God can't take you where you're supposed to go. Lauren, hi, if you are comfortable, right? If we wanted to be comfortable all the time, then what, we, what would we do? We would stay in bed, <laughs> stay under the covers, eat potato chips, get fat, get lazy, watch our muscles atrophy. So you've got to get up, be uncomfortable. In fact, get used to being uncomfortable. In fact, put yourself in positions that will make you uncomfortable, right? Like sit on a tack or something. I mean, I'm exaggerating, of course, but you know, do things that you wouldn't normally do. Like instead of parking at the closest place at the supermarket, just park at the furthest parking lot spot on the whole lot so that you have to walk all the way. Instead of taking the elevator, use the stairs. Just get used to being uncomfortable so that when opportunity comes by, because opportunity doesn't knock all the time, when opportunity comes by, you will be used to being uncomfortable. And you'll say, hey, I could do that. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I, I like to say that God opens the doors, I walk through them, and that is true. But it's walking through the open door that is tough, right? Because a lot of people, you know the saying, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make him drink it. I have a lot of friends that should be a lot further along than they are, but I can't get them to drink the water. It's right there. All they got to do is put it to their mouth and drink it. See, just like this, but they won't do it. Why won't they do it? I don't know, a variety of reasons. There's a fear of failure. Everybody knows about that, but there's also a fear of success. Oh my gosh, if this works, now what do I have to do? You know, I remember asking myself early on, gosh, if I start speaking all over the place, how am I gonna do this? I'm running a gas station, I got my wife, you know, and I was really concerned that maybe this was just a dream that that wouldn't work out, that I didn't, you know, it would be irresponsible of me with all my responsibilities to do this. I tried to talk myself out of it. I tried to sabotage myself. Thank God I didn't. I didn't have the answers to those questions I was asking, but you don't have to have the answers. You know, God will make it happen at the right time. I've spoken on 24 morning shows all across the country, spoken at Harvard twice, NASDAQ. I've spoken on about 20 different stages in the last 18 months. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I had the time to do it. I don't know how Charlene was able to allow me to do it. She came a lot of times. A lot of times she stayed home because she wanted to stay home. And I said, well, let me get someone to stay here. No, 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 no. I don't want to entertain anybody. I can be by myself. I says, well, okay. I tell the neighbor and my daughter that she's alone. Keep an eye on her. And 
wear your seat belt so you don't fall out of your chair and so far so good so that's my advice to you all right i'll talk to you guys later tune in eight o'clock eastern today if you want to see me live on the tedx stage god bless you bye bye